The next group in the series is the B, the P, and the R. This is essentially an A shape in the upside down form. So whereas with the A we see back on yourself and down and up and down, the B is a combination of a long stroke, as is the P. So we have B, up, back, down and back. One and two and three and four and five and touch. So I've left that open to show you how this finial stroke which we saw in the J and the G come back into play. So we have B take a time P. Now the P goes just a little bit above that line. And then what I normally do is I come back up. I'm ghosting this. So I'm not actually on the ink. I'm above it. And I go back in. And the R is one and part of that stroke. So if we hide this, you can see where the R is. So I'm going to look at this a little bit larger because this, this stroke is a little bit more complicated. So we have B, push back, up, and down, and there. Do you see where the stroke is starting to get thin because you're going to push back in on yourself? And that is the height of the nib. So if you come too far down, you're going to end up underneath the line. So just be a little bit careful with that. So let's do that again. B. Let's look at the R again. Actually, let's look at the P first. So go back in through the P and push out and down and back on yourself. You can do this in a number of strokes where you go one, two, three, and stop there and actually come back from the left into the right. And that R again, like doing an N or an M. And so you see the N shape there. So just be a little bit careful with these shapes. Remember, the slower, the more complex or more difficult the shape, the slower you have to approach it. If you approach the shape too quickly, you're going to overshoot the angle or overshoot the, the, the turn. 